Hello, Gary Simon of designcourse.com, and today I'm going to be using the Cintiq here to experiment with some calligraphy here in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so basically you could do the same thing. You don't need a Cintiq, of course. You can just, uh, any type of pressure-sensitive pressure tablet will work like an Intuosa or even Bamboo, I think. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna go up here to File New, and that's showing up off screen, one second. I have four monitors up here. All right, and I, I'm just going to choose 1000 by 750 RGB for the color mode and OK. All right, so I initially I planned to just do this on a white background. I think I'm going to change it up and just make it uh, black here. So I'm going to drag out a rectangle and we'll go ahead and change the fill color here to, let me get this out of here, black. And we'll go ahead and lock that layer. All right. So uh, next we have to set up the brushes. So if we take the brush tool here and we go over to brushes, just double click on the first one, or you can just go create a new one. Uh, we want to change this here. We want to make this based on pressure for the size. So the harder we push, the larger the size will be, of course. And let me move my keyboard over here to the left. And I'm going to change this uh, to around 40. And the variation, we could just put to 40 as well. So we'll hit OK. All right, so there we go. Now what we want to do is uh, make this white here for our color. So we'll make this white, or the stroke rather, white. We don't need a fill color. And we're ready to go. All right, so this is a basic tip. Uh, it's a round brush. And the way you make it and adjust it for calligraphy, if we go back to brushes, we can go ahead and double click on it. And we can take this down by dragging it. And then we can also change the angle here. Maybe we can choose 45 even. And mine says 46, so let's leave it there. And that should be pretty good. All right, so now when we do this, you can see how that works much like a calligraphy pen. All right, I, uh, one second, yeah. I'm recording, oh, that's great. All right, bye. Okay, so to continue on, my wife just called me. Uh, I have to answer that one, of course. And let me back up here. So I'm just going to use uh, the letter S to start off with here. So. Um, when it comes to calligraphy, there's a lot of different styles, you know, and you also have to ask yourself if you want it to be uppercase, lowercase, uh, and you can really just have fun experimenting with it. All right, so I'm going to start by just drawing out a shape roughly like this, just like that. I'm going to make another one above it, and I'm trying to follow the contour as much as possible. And that was no good. So it looked a little bit sloppy. Uh, so you need to try to get this to line up as much as humanly possible. And that's okay. So, you know, regularly, if I didn't have the camera in my face and the microphone, I would try to get a little bit closer to try to make this a little bit more smooth. But I think uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, you should be good to go. I don't like that. I started a little bit too early here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And then we'll do another one up here. Just like that. All right, and now we can see we have the basic S shape. It's not too bad. I. Uh, and you could do a lot of other things with this, of course. Um, so what we can do now, um, say for example, we're gonna come like this. Maybe come back up. Like that, it doesn't look too bad. Um, and then we can take another tip here. I'm just gonna take, uh, double click on the second preset. We'll make this come down maybe around five. We want this pressure variation, make that five. And 
make this fixed and hit OK. All right, so we can add maybe even a thinner line that kind of just coincides with this. Like that. Yeah. Something like that, not too bad. Uh, and then we can give it some uh, black or white space, or in, in the case that we're using black space. Uh, so what we can do is, uh, let me see here, let me see the thickness of this. Yeah, we're gonna need a third brush real quick. So I'm just gonna double click on this. We're gonna change this to uh, maybe 12. This needs fixed as well. Uh, this is gonna be pressure, so 12 points on the pressure and variation. All right, and, I, and then for the swatches here, we're gonna change this back to black. And then we could do some other stuff, like uh, come up here in the middle. And then as we get to the bottom, trying to make it a little bit less pressure. Do one over here. I don't like that one because it kind of goes up a little bit too high here. It's not really conforming to the shape. Yeah, something like that's okay. Not too bad. Uh, and now I'm going to take the pen tool and we're going to make this fill black. And maybe put like a diamond thing here in the middle. Oh crap, I hate when that happens. Accidentally click or it'll add to one of the other paths. I'll take this and just copy it. Control C, Control F, move that over. Yeah, something like that. And that's how you can really quickly obviously create a uh, kind of a more intricate sort of calligraphy style for uh, a type here for our letter S. All right, so you can, of course, if you wanted to add more letters to this, you can move everything over here, hit Control R on your keyboard to get the rollers, left click and drag a roller there left click and drag another ruler here to define the top and the bottom of the type. And then that way you have some guides in terms of creating more letters. And then of course, say for example, you wanted just a capital S and you're, you have a word here, maybe like sweet or sex or whatever. Uh, you could drag a third one to create the height for the lowercase letters, if you wish. All right, so that is just a very quick, basic tutorial on how you'd use a tablet uh, to set up a calligraphy brush and start doing some pretty cool calligraphy. And of course, if you've never messed with calligraphy before, you can always do a search on Google. There's books at local stores you can buy that have tons of different types of calligraphy, and it even shows you how to start uh, designing your own calligraphy letters uh, in terms of step-by-step, -step. something I did when I was a lot younger, like when I was, in, I was like 10, I really got into it for some reason. But uh, yeah, I really haven't touched it too much but yeah, as you can see, the uh, effects or the, the appearance of the type is actually really cool. So hopefully you learned something and uh, make sure you subscribe here uh, on the channel uh, here on YouTube and check out designcourse.com. All right. Talk to you later. Goodbye.